Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Welcome to class. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm oh, doing well, thank you. Welcome. All right. Okay, let's get down to business. Now we're going to start our session with, we're going to do pronunciation tonight. Okay, so we're going to start with a tongue twister. You might have seen this one before, but let's give it a try. Let's see. So this one right here, have you seen this before? Let me see. I guess it's the first time that I see. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how you are supposed to pronounce it, and then I will give you the chance to do it. So okay. we start with how much wood, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would as much as he could, and chuck as much as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay, so we need to focus on these sounds. We're going to say right here, much, and a similar sound to much is Chuck. You see, Chuck, like this actor, Chuck Norris, Chuck, right? Okay. And then let's see. Okay, and in these parts, we're going to say woulda. Then we will say, let's see, where is it? If uh, here, okay. Then we will say, if a, see. Okay. And in this part, we're going to say, chakas, 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 machas, listen, machas. And then we're going to connect asa. You see, so in this part, we're going to say and chakas machas. Can you give it a try? And chakas machas. And chakas machas. There you go. So that's how we're going to connect it. Um, okay. We're going to connect this one one more time. If, uh, you see, uh -huh. if, uh, right? Exactly. So this is it. Are you ready? Okay, I can try. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, action. How much will could a wood chuck chuck? If a wood chuck could chuck you, he would chuck, he will as much as he could. And chuck as much as will chuck will. If a wood chuck could chuck will. Wonderful, very good, very good. Tatiana, welcome to class. All right, we're, we're starting off tonight's session with a tongue twister. I was explaining to Jorge, that in order to say this tongue twister, we're going to connect some sounds. Um, and I was showing him which sounds we were supposed to connect. So in this part, we're going to say woulda. You see woulda. Uh, right here, we're going to say ifa. Here, we're going to say muchas, muchas, like we're just saying one word. And in this line here, we're going to say chakas muchas. And then we're going to connect these two, asa. So the full sentence would be, chuck as much as a, chuck as much as a. You see? Can you give it a try, Tatiana? Chuck as much as a. Chuck, chuck as much as a. There you go. Okay. And then we will do ifa one more time. Are you ready? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Uh, how much would uh, would a uh, would chuck chuck if a, if a would chuck could chuck wood? He would chuck. He would as much as he could, and chuck as much as would chuck would a uh, would if a would chuck could chuck wood. <laughs> very good, very good. All right. So you may you might be wondering why we're doing this right now. Well, the reason why we're doing it is because tonight we are going to work on pronunciation. Tonight's topic is called linking sounds. Let me share my my screen with you. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. So 
linking sounds pronunciation. So we're going to work on two types of linking sounds. And the first one will be consonant plus vowel. How are we supposed to read or um, say something when we have this combination here? And we are also going to check the case where whether there is a same sound or a similar sound. So this is what we're going to be working on tonight. Now, many times uh, I've been asked, how can someone speak faster or sound more, more native? And the, the key to sounding more native, like we didn't learn English, English just uh, a little while ago to sound like we've been speaking the language for a long time. The key to doing that is knowing pronunciation rules. Okay, so it's not that we're speaking faster, like we're rushing what we want to say, but the key to sounding more native like is knowing pronunciation rules. Okay, so we're going to start with these two now. Let's see. We're going to use this video in order to talk about the rules. I'm going to go pausing the video so that we can interact as we go studying the rules. And then I will give you further information when we're done watching the video and doing some exercises. And then we will continue practicing. Okay, so here we go. Welcome to class, Rodrigo. Hi, hi. Sorry for hi. being late. <laughs> oh, it's okay. No worries. So we're just, you're just in time. Um, I was explaining to your classmates that we are going to work on linking sounds in order to sound more native, uh, to sound like we're speaking faster, but we're actually not doing it. We're just respecting some pronunciation rules that are going to help us sound better when we're speaking. Okay, so we're going yeah. to, to study just Two. All right. Let me share my screen one more time. For example. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. Linking sounds rule number one. Here we go. Um, rules number one and number two the first rule is consonant and vowel blends when a word ends with a consonant and the next word starts with a vowel the sound can be blended for example hold on all right so the first rule is about having a word that ends in a consonant, for example, the word hold, what is the consonant letter that is at the end of the word? Can you tell me? D. D, right, okay, so that's the consonant. So hold, right. And then the next word that is right next to it starts with a vowel, with a vowel sound. So the next word starts with a vowel O. So when we have this combination, right here we are going to we are going to connect the sounds let me know if my screen goes green because i'm um using my screen as a board okay so you see we're going to connect the sound of the consonant with the vowel sound and instead instead of saying hold on like pronouncing the two words separately we are going to pronounce them all together like they are only one because we have this combination. So instead of saying hold on, we're going to say hold on, hold on. You see, you can give it a try if, if you want to keep your micro, microphones off or you can also turn them on. So hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go, very good. You can see hold ends with the consonant sound D and on starts with the vowel sound O. So the sound is blended. Hold on. Please don't say it like hold on. 
And another example is sleep in. Sleep ends with the consonant sound P. And in starts with the vowel sound I. The sound is blended as well. Sleep in. Very good. So when she's saying blended, the sound is blended, the sound is connected. So you see, sleep is a word that ends in a consonant sound. And then the next word starts with a vowel. So we're going to blend it or to connect it. And we're going to say sleep in, sleep in. You see, sleep in. Instead of saying sleep in, you see, sleep in. Let's continue. Don't say it like sleep in. Sleep in is the natural sound. Let's take a look at it with a sample sentence. Hold on a second. Can you pick up some milk for us at the store? All right, before we continue, here we have a sentence where we can apply this rule. Consonant plus a vowel. In what words can we make that blend? In what words can we make that connection? Can you tell me? Hold on and okay. pick up. All right, oh yeah, All right. So we have a consonant here and we have a vowel in the next word. Exactly. Can we do um, more? Mm -hmm. And for us. Exactly. Very good. Any other? Any other case? We can do it one more time. You see, we're looking for a consonant, a word that ends with a consonant, and the next word starts with a vowel. Um, Ona, 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 very mm -hmm. good, very good. Uh huh. Can we do it one more time? We can do it one more time. Yeah, consonant, vowel, use at exactly, very good. So us ends with the with the letter with the consonant letter s and then the next word starts with a vowel all right so based on what we have checked so far how can we read this example hold on a second can you pick out some milk for us for for us at the store very good you see Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You see? Hold on a second. We're pronouncing it all together. Can you pick up? Pick up. You see? Pick up. Like that car that's very popular here in, in the El Salvador. You see? Can you pick up? Some some milk for us that. For us that. Listen? For us that. So, can you pick up some milk for us at the store? Can you pick up some milk for us at the store? For us at, can you give it a try? Let's see. Jorge, here we go. The whole thing. Hold on a second. Can you pick up some milk for us at the store? There you go. Very good. Let's see. What about Rodrigo? Hold on a second. Can you pick up some milk for us at the store? Very good. And you notice you're not you're not trying to do it fast though, like it's a tongue twister. You're just trying to connect the sounds, you see? Well, you're actually connecting the sounds. And this is how we sound more fluent, you see? Because we know the tip, we know the rule here. All right, very good. So let, let me get this screen clean and let's continue, let's see. Consonant and vowel blended. Hold on. Consonant and vowel blended. Anna. Consonant and vowel blended. Pick up, consonant and vowel blended, for us, consonant and vowel blended, us at, for us at. If we write the sentence by pronunciation, we can change it like this. Hold on a second. Can you pick up some milk for us at the store? All right. So this is how it sounds when we are uh, following the rule. It sounds like this is just one word, like this is just another one. And these three two turn into 
one for a set, for a set, you see? Please listen and repeat after me. Hold on a second. Can you pick up some milk for us at the store? We're going to fast forward it to rule to exercise here. Okay. We're going to move on to the next exercise. Here we go. I will say a sentence three times and you will tell me what I said. Okay, so she's going to say a sentence three times and you have to tell me what she's saying. Okay, so get ready. Here we go. She's an old friend of mine. She's an old friend of mine. She's an old friend of mine. All right, what did she say? He's an old friend of mine. All right, you got it right. Did you get it? I said, she is an old friend of mine. We can find rule number one in many places here. Consonant and vowel blended. She's an. Consonant and vowel blended. An old. She is an old. Consonant and vowel blended. Friend of. All right, so let's keep in mind that when we say this word, O-F, it sounds like we're saying o -V, of, of. This is the difference between this word that only has a letter F and the other word that has two letters F. You see, of, friend of. So how are we supposed to pronounce the sentence following the rule? Can you guys tell me? I'm sorry, the screen is turned green. Okay, yeah, let me share my screen one more time. I thought I was the only one. No, no. Um, I will. I will most likely have this issue because I'm writing on the screen, because I'm using the board in order to write. So uh, it gives me this problem. So let me know whenever you see the screen turns green, so that I can okay. stop sharing it and then share it again. Okay. So how do you think we pronounce this sentence based on the rule? She's an old, uh, she's an old friend of mine. There you go. Uh -huh. One more time. She's an old friend of mine. Exactly. Very good. Let's see. Tatiana, can you give it a try? She's an old friend of mine. Great. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let me share my screen one more time. So let's continue. If we write the sentence by pronunciation, we can change it like this. She's an old friend of mine. Please repeat after me. She's an old friend of mine. All right, so we have done this part already. Now, let's see. Okay, now we're moving on to rule number two. I guess we have a new participant. Let me see who that is. Ooh, Heidi, okay, welcome Heidi. Thank you, good All night right. everyone. Welcome. All right. So we are we are checking some pronunciation rules in order to sound more native when we're speaking or to sound like we are speaking faster. Okay. Um, we just checked rule number one. I'm going to review it once we stop watching this video. Okay. So to make sure that you get information on the topic for the practice part. Right now we're moving to part number two. Let's see. So rule number two is same or similar sound. Here we go. Similar sounds meet together. You can make them into one sound, not two separate sounds, especially if the same sounds meet together. You need to make the sound a little bit longer. For example, this style. You can see there are the same S sounds, so you need to speak it with one S sound, this style. Okay, very good. So before she continues, when the first word ends in a sound, in a consonant sound, 
and the next word starts with the same consonant sound, we are just going to pronounce it once, only one time, you see? So instead of saying this style, we're just going to say this style. Listen, this style. You see, we pronounce the letter S in this case only one time because the first word ends in the S sound and the next word starts with the same sound. You see, this style. Can you hear that I make the S sound a little bit longer? Please don't say visa style. Another example is need to. The D and T are similar sounds. You can skip one of the D or T sounds. Need to or need do. Don't say it like nida to. Okay, in this, in this example, we do not have the same consonants, you see. In the word need, the last consonant is D, and in the next word, the next consonant is T, okay. We are able to connect the sound here because there is a rule that tells me when a letter ends in explosive sounds or voice sounds, there is a rule I'm going to show you. I can omit the sound of the first word and I can make the consonant sound of the next word voice to be heard. Okay, so I'm going to hold this one. So that's why we can say need to. Listen, need to. It's like I'm not pronouncing the letter D. I'm just saying need to. Can you give it a try? Need to. Need to. Need to. All right, need to. You see? Need it's to. Like, it's, it's like I'm not releasing, like I'm not releasing the letter D. I'm just releasing the letter D. Need to. Need to. Need to. Exactly. It's, this one sounds stronger than the previous one. I'm going to show you more examples. So let me get rid of this. Let me share my screen again. If you speak like that all the time, you won't hear the sound when native speakers are speaking long sentences with their natural speed. Let's take a look at it in more detail in a sample sentence. I think this song is about the singer's black cat. Okay. Let's see, we are going to try to find rule number one, consonant plus vowel, and rule number two, when there is the same or a similar sound. You see, we're going to try to identify the two rules right here. So where can I blend or connect sounds? Can you tell me? The sound. Uh, rule number two. Rule number two. Ah, so this song, right? Only one time. This song. song. Okay. Any other? Where I can find rule number two? Is about. Ah, well, okay. that's rule number one. That's number one, right? We're gonna do number one in color green, right? Okay. So, is about. Okay, this is one. Okay. Um. Where about. Can I Ah, and here. Rule number two. Ah, about the, about the, you see? I don't say about the. It's not that it's not correct. It's just that we're trying to sound more native. So, because I know this rule right now, um, I know that I just need to pronounce one T sound because the two words that I'm saying the first one ended with a T sound and the next one started with the same sound. Okay. Um, do you see a combination where there can be a similar sound? Maybe, maybe it's not the same consonant, but there is a similar sound. Black cat. There you go. Okay. So you see? Black cat. Listen. Black cat. Can you give it a try? Black cat. Black cat. Exactly. So we just pronounced 
the letter C, black hat. You see? Let's see. Let's give it a try. How do you think we pronounce this? The whole sentence. Can you tell me? I think I think the song is. Sorry, uh, one more time. Uh, I think this song is about is about the singer black hat. One more time. It's about the singer's black hat. One more time. It's about the singer black hat. One more time. It's about the singers. It's about the singers, black hat. There you go. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see. Um, Jorge, let's give it a try. Can you read it? Yeah. I think this song is about the singers, black hat. Very good. Very good. Rodrigo, here we go. I think this song is about the singers, black hat. Very good. Heidi, here we go. I think this song is about the singer Black Cat. Okay, the singer's Black Cat. One more singers. Uh-huh. I think this song is about the singer's Black Cat. Very good. Listen, about the, about the, I think, I think this song, this song, you see, this song. Very good. You're doing a great job. Very good. Let's continue. The same S sounds. So you can pronounce one of the S sounds for a little bit longer this song consonant and vowel blended song is and consonant and vowel blended is about song is about the t and the th are similar sounds about the not about a, the and the last one is the same k sounds so you can skip one of the K sounds, black cat. I think some of you might have a question here. Very good. Okay, so take a look at this one. We were missing one here, you see? Song is, song is, you see? Consonant vowel, song is. Here. The K and C are different sounds. So, why can we skip one of them? You have to know a very important thing here. In English, spelling is not equal to the pronunciation. All the linking sounds rules we are teaching you are based on pronunciation. C in cat is a K sound, so you can pronounce one K for a little bit longer. If we write the sentence by pronunciation, we can change it to this. I think this song's about the singer's black cat. Please repeat after me. All right, so this is how we are supposed to spell it in writing if we are trying to, to write the pronunciation, pronunciation rule right here. All right, so. Let me give you more information on what we're doing. Let me share my screen. Let's see. Okay, so rule number one was consonant plus vowel sound, right? We have some examples here, all right? We already know how it works. So here we go. So I have the two words, an elephant. Okay, I am saying it slowly. How do you read it? linking the sound. Can you read it for me? An elephant. Very good. So an elephant, right? Very good. Okay, let's move on. We have another example. How do you read the example here? Let's see. Okay, how do you read it? An apple. An apple. One more time, an apple, an apple. An apple. Very good. An apple. Great. And this one here, how do you, how do we pronounce it? These are. Exactly, right? Do you remember yesterday we said that the, the letter and the sound of the letter are not the same sometimes? This is a great example. You see, we're focusing on the, the last sound of these. You see, we say these. So the last sound that we hear here is the sound of a consonant, 
the sound of the consonant letter S. So that's why we're going to say these are, these are. Let's continue. Okay. And then, how do we read this sentence here? Can you tell me? Craig Buffanup. Very good. See, we're going to say Craig, Craig bought an apple. Bought an apple. One more time. Craig bought an apple. Craig bought an apple. Great. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Jorge, can we give it a try with the last sentence? Craig bought an apple. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so this is rule number one. Okay, now let's speak a little bit more about consonant to consonant. You see, when it's the same consonant. Okay. Sorry, teacher, before I uh, move to the other, uh, sure. I have a mm -hmm. question about the these are, because mm -hmm. that is uh, vowel plus, uh, well, uh, two. Okay, yeah, I get, I get where you're going. Okay, when you pronounce these, what is the last sound that you hear? These. Yes. Exactly. So I know there's a, a letter E here. I know there's a vowel. But we're going to follow the rule by following the sound. You see? So even though there's a, letter, a vowel here, we are looking for the sound. So the last sound in the word these that I hear is the sound of a consonant S. So that's why I'm going to connect it with the next word that starts with a vowel sound. You see, because I'm, I'm paying attention to the sound, not the spelling. Okay, gotcha. Just, mm -hmm. just had that question because uh, mm -hmm. it was mentioned consonant plus vowel, exactly. so my brain uh -huh. is, <laughs> but exactly. yeah, that's what you mentioned. Exactly, so that's a good question, actually. That's a good question because it, it, it wouldn't make sense because the word these ends in a in a vowel sound right but we are paying attention to the sound rather than the spelling so these you see that's a consonant sound so we connect it with the next vowel sound these are these are gosh thank you welcome okay now we're going to look at the examples where we have the same sound okay Consonant to consonant. All right. Examples. Ah, oh, we have the same consonant here. How do we read these two words together? We say? Red dress. Very good. Red dress. Red dress. I only say the letter D one time. Let's continue. Rodrigo, how do we pronounce number two? B gorilla. Very good. Heidi, how do we pronounce the next two words? Hot tomato. Very good. Hot tomato. Hot tomato. You see? Hot tomato. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, let's see. Tatiana, the next one. I feel lucky. Very good. For him? Quiet town. One more time. Quiet. Quiet town. Quiet, quiet town. Very good, very good. All right, let's see. All right, now take a look at these two examples that have a star here. Okay, so remember, remember that we are looking for the same sound. You see, same sound. So, for example, the word pink here ends with the letter K, and the next word starts with the letter C. They are not the same letters, but they have, they have same sounds, you see? So that's why it is possible to say, how do we read this one? Can you tell me? Thinker. Exactly. And what about the next one? So the first one is nice, and the next one is scarf. So, how do we pronounce it? Nice scarf. Great. Nice scarf. Nice scarf. You see? Only one time. Are we okay so far? Are we good? 
Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So this is when we have the same sound. All right. Now, what happens? All right. So, oh, so here is some extra info to emphasize on the fact that it doesn't have to be the same letter as long as it has the same sound. See? For linking to a core, it doesn't have to be the same consonant or the same letter, just the same consonant sound like K and C, K and car. Like nice, you see, it sounds like it's a letter F. Nice and then scarf, nice car. Okay, similar sounds, here we go. Okay, so here are some linking sound examples with similar consonant sounds. Okay, now take a look. Me too. Let's see, I'm going to go back to these examples. We're gonna check this before. Okay, before we check the examples, notice that when, look at the sounds that we have over here. When, the sound of the letter T, the sound of the letter D, the sound of the letter K, the sound of the letter G, the sound of the letter P, and the sound of the letter B are followed by other consonant sounds, are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Ah, unreleased means that we do not pronounce them. You see, we do not pronounce them. Let me send you a screenshot of this part before we go ahead and check the examples so that you can go comparing this information. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here are some examples. Okay, here we go. Is the sound of the letter D included on the list? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right, thank you. Okay, so this is why before the next consonant sound, we're going to say need to, need to, ah. The sound of the consonant D here is unreleased. It means that I don't pronounce it. I don't pronounce it. You see? Me too. Me too. What is the next one? Okay. The next sound that we will find on the list is the sound of the letter P, right? Okay, very good. So, because the next word starts with a consonant sound, I am going to say, how am I going to, to read number two? Can you tell me? Sleep better. Exactly, do you hear yourselves? Sleep better. So it's like, I'm not pronouncing the letter P. Sleep better, sleep better, you see? This is an unreleased sound, let's see. What about number three? Ah. The next sound is dark and then gray. Okay, dark, the sound of the letter K is right here. So how do I read it? Can you help me? Dark gray. Exactly, dark gray. Dark, dark mm -hmm. gray. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so I don't, I don't release the sound of the letter K because the next word starts with a consonant sound, dark gray dark gray, you see? Let's see, all right. The next one, okay. The next one is similar to the previous rule. We don't have the same, we don't have the same letter at the end, but the sound is similar, do you see? How do you read word number one here? This word here, how do you read it? Can you tell me? Cheese. Cheese, okay. Cheese. I know the last letter is E, but we're looking for the sound. What is the last sound in cheese? Can you tell me? S. S, right, cheese. Okay, and, and then the next word starts with the letter S, sandwich. So how do we read it? Cheese sandwich. Very good, one more time. 
cheese sandwich. Cheese sandwich. Cheese sandwich. Very good. Very good. Okay, so this one, this one is similar sound. Similar sound. We can go checking the rule here. That's why I sent you a screenshot. Let me send you a screenshot one more time. This time with these examples included. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm sorry. I have a question. Sure. Is there a rule for a word, for example, island? The spell is Iceland. But the pronunciation is island. Exactly. Well, we would have to follow. This would be another rule. You see, we would have to we would have to find out why this happens here, because this is not part of the same rule. Uh -huh. But I can I can get back to you on this one later because right now I wouldn't be able to give you the exact reason why we say island, but this information is right. We don't say Iceland because if we say Iceland, we are speaking about another country, right? This one here, you see? So there must be a rule to explain this one, but I don't have it handy, but I can get back to you on the reason why this happened. Okay, thank you, All Adriana. Right. All right, welcome. All right, so let's see. Okay, oh, we had another example. So, how do we read this one, the last one? We have the same sound here, you see? How do we pronounce it? Can you tell me? Breathe through. Exactly, breathe through. One more time, breathe through. Just breathe one. through. Great, very good, very good job. All right, very good. Okay, so here we are looking for final consonants followed by vowel sounds and final consonants followed by the same consonant sound. And also rule number one. Okay, how do we pronounce number one here? Can you tell me? Where do we, where do we link the sounds? Where do we connect them? Can you tell me? In number one, where do we connect the sounds? Consonant plus vowel. Where is it? A lot of. Okay, a lot of, very good. Anywhere else? And what about the cause as with A? Exactly, so we're going to say, causes a lot of, repeat with me, causes a lot of, causes a lot of. Causes a lot of. Exactly, very good. All right, so how do we read everything? Can you tell me? Casual, casual dress causes a lot of problems. There you go, very good. Okay, number two, where do we link the sounds? Consonant vowel. Multiply. All right, so. Must employees, must employees, must them, must them. Uh -huh. And then where do we have the same sound? Where do we have the same sound? Employees say. Exactly. So employees say. Listen, employees say. Employees say. Employees say. Okay. Say. And here we're going to connect. The consonant plus vowel. Say it. Say it. Say it's okay. How do we pronounce number two? Can you tell me? It's like one single word, right? <laughs> it sounds like most it. Yeah, most employees say it's okay. Great, very good. One more time. Most employees say it's okay. Great, very good, very good. All right, number three, where do we connect vowel plus consonant? Oh, sorry, the other way around, consonant plus vowel. 
10 sentence with vowel? Fashionista. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Fashionista. Anywhere else? Painting. Painting. Okay, very good. Very good. How do we read everything? Can you help me? Uh, fashion is a pain in the deck in the neck. One more time. Fashion is a pain in the neck. Very right. Very good. A pain in. A pain in. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number four. Where do we connect consonant plus vowel? Is it possible or not? Maybe not. Where do we have the same sound or or a similar sound? Stylish shoes. Exactly, that was perfect. Okay, so can you read the whole the whole sentence? She wore a stylish shoes. Great. Do you hear that? Stylish shoes. Stylish shoes. You see? Very good. Number five. Five. Number five. Consonant plus vowel or similar sound. What do you see? Or do you see both? Yeah, there are both. There are Wara both. and Dar ah. Dark Coach. Wara, Wara. I know there's a vowel here, but we're looking for the sound. War, war, Wara. And then you said, what was the other one? Sorry. Dark Coach. Exactly. Can you help me read the sentence? He wore a Dark Coach. Great. Very good. Dark coat. Dark coat. Very good. All right. Next, in number six, what do you see? Where do we link the sound in six? That's a. Uh, Very good. So we're going to say that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh. Okay. And then exactly similar sound. Hot tie, hot tie. Can you give it a try, Tatiana, in number six? Uh, that's, that's a very hot tie. Wonderful, very good. Number seven, number seven. Let's see, what do you see? Consonant plus vowel or similar or same sounds? What do you see? Or do you see both? Okay, let's start off with consonant plus vowel. Where do you see it? Chisa. Chisa. Okay. Chisa. All right. Very good. Very good. Chisa. Where do you see same or similar sound? Fashionable Great. lawyer. Fashionable lawyer. Exactly. We say fashionable, and then the word is lawyer. So fashionable lawyer. Fashionable lawyer. You see, like it's only one. So, Heidi, can you help us read the full sentence? Sure. She's a very fashionable, fashionable lawyer. One more time. Fashionable lawyer. Lawyer, right. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Number eight. Let's see. Okay, what do you guys see? Where do I link sound to number eight? It's an old. Okay. It's an old. Very good. It's an old. Similar or same sound? Fashion umbrella. Constant okay. Blues. okay. It's an old fashion. It's an old fashion. And then one more time with. Fashion umbrella. Exactly. Tatiana, go ahead. <laughs> um, it's an old fashioned umbrella. Fashion umbrella. One more time. Um, it's an old fashioned umbrella. Very good. You see? Fashion, old fashioned, old fashioned umbrella. Dumbrella. One more time. Fashion umbrella. Exactly. Very good. Number nine, where do you see the linking sound?
her elegant. Okay. So we're going to say her elegant, her elegant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. similar sound. Tennis skirt. All right. Tennis and then tennis skirt. skirt. So elegant tennis skirt. Elegant tennis skirt. Give it a try. I, I love her elegant tennis skirt. One more time. Great. I love her elegant tennis skirt. Great. Very good. What about number 10? Where do we link sounds in number 10? It happens only one time. And we have a similar sound. Where does the similar oh. sound occur? Mm -hmm. Comfortable, comfortable loafers. Okay, very good. So we're going to say, let me type it down here. It's, it's this one. It should be colored green. Okay, all right. So we're going to say it like this. Com, the, com, the, bowl. Comfortable. So, comfortable. Comfortable loafers, comfortable loafers. Like they are very comfortable loaf, comfortable loafers. Very good. So, come double like this. Loafers like this. One more time. They are very comfortable loafers. Loafers. One more time. They are very comfortable loafers. 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 Very good. All right, great. Let's see. Let's do 11. All right. What linking sounds do you see in 11? Consonant plus vowel? Where is it? 11, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what N? Okay, so we're going to say what N? What an offensive. What an offensive. Okay, can we link it one more time? What an offensive. Ah, offensive. Mm -hmm. And then the next word is? Offensive. Oh, offensive vest. Exactly. We're just going to say it once. So here we go, Tatiana. Three, two, one. Here we go. Uh, what an offensive vest. Of Great. Mm -hmm. One more time. <laughs> Uh, what an offensive vest. Great. That was Last perfect. word is kind of offense because I should, uh, oh, offensive, offensive vest, offensive vest. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Offensive. You see? Offensive. And then the word, the next one, vest. So. Offensive vest. Great. Very good. Next. How do we link the sound in number 12? We're going to, to join consonant plus vowel sound in 12. Where do we connect it? Like it. Great. So we say like, listen, like. So this is the consonant sound and then it. So... Great. One more time, Heidi. I really like it. Great. Very good. 13. Where do we link sounds in 13? Where do we have a similar sound? Where do we have an unreleased sound, unreleased sound in number 13? Like to? Exactly. There we have an unreleased sound. All right. So we're just going to say li like to. Like, like. to. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then where do we connect consonant plus vowel? Stand out. Exactly. 
Standardina. Ah. Standardina. Exactly. Okay, how do we read it? Stand out. I don't know how is the linking sound with out, outina. So, yeah. So we're going to say send out, send out in a crowd, send out in a crowd, send out in a, send out in a. Yeah, but can we link the out with in? Stand out in a. Sound out, it sounds, it has to sound like tina, like tina. tina. Send out oh. tina. Send out in a crowd. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like to I like to stand out stand out <laughs> stand out in a crowd. Stand out in a crowd. I like to I like to stand out in a crowd. Exactly. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's do 14. This is gonna be the last one. Okay. So 14. What type of linking sounds do we have in 14? Do we have the same sounds? Where do we have the same sounds? Important to. Exactly. So in this case, we're going to say important to. Important, listen, Im important to. Important. important to. Important to. Important to. Important to. Very good. And then where do we connect consonant plus vowel? Consonant plus vowel. Rule number one. Where do we connect it? It's important. Exactly. So we're going to say it's um it's important. It's important too. It's important too. All right. So last volunteer to read 14. This is the last one. It, it's important to dress well. Very good. Very good job. All right. Now, let me send you a screenshot on these examples that we worked on. Um, this is a topic that needs time for us to master, okay? We need to, to practice, to practice, and press to practice in order for us to get to a point where we do it automatically, okay? But you can take some time and try to read all the sentences one more, one more time. Or you can also write your own sentences and try to identify where you see those two sounds, the two rules that we studied tonight. And you can help yourselves, listening to yourselves, analyzing how you should pronounce them to improve our fluency. All right. Uh, do you have any questions for me so far before I let you go? No, just saying happy teacher day for tomorrow, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. You're so yes. sweet. <laughs> thank you so much. You get to have a day off tomorrow. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, enjoy your day tomorrow. We're having no class. Um, so I will see you until Friday. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Good night.